Alright guys, so looking at these two batteries, I'd say that's the issue on there. For some reason it's... Right, so what I do to check for air leaks, I've got an old cab bar. Put it on the... Right, so what I've done, I've took the front wheels off to check these discs properly. Now what I always do is refer... To the change plan that we're doing, I thought I'll fill you up first. So the work lights working, beacon's working. Comes down. Have to come down. Start button. All this pack is on auto loop apart from them two, one there and one on the other side, the bottom sweep blade rounds, they're not on auto loop. And obviously the lifter's not on auto loop as well, so we need to grease all that. So it's nice and easy if you ask me. So the problem I find is, I need a wheelie bin. I really, really need a bin. Really, really, really. Really, really, really need a bin. Ah, it's some wheelie bins. Wheelie bins. Let's see, is this one empty? Yep. It's empty, but it's lids knackered and falling off it. What about this one? Yep, that one will do. This one's empty, and it's lids alright. No point using a faulty bin, because there's no email, and it's stuck. I spent about the next three hours trying to get the bloody thing out. So, not so bad if it munches it. Usually, my look, it's a bloody munch. So, yeah. Right, so, what we need to do here is this. So, drop that lifter down. Barrier arm down. On that one. That's that. That's that. So it's in auto now, right? So anywhere inside them barrier arms there is the danger zone. Yeah? You don't walk into there because if you catch hold of that, does that. Same with that one. If you walk into that, it'll do that. When you get one of them, it's in between legs, it don't tickle. And the other problem is, if you happen to do that, and catch that one at the same time, that lifter will go up and in. And if you get yourself tangled on here, you're going to back of there, mate. Yeah? And once you go back of there, you ain't going back out, unless you've got somebody stood outside who's quick, and they're going to hit that emergency stop button. So, for me, like now, in the council yard, there'd be nobody to see me do it. So, yeah, right, let's get some bins on it. So, as you'll see, what it'll do, it'll hit that striker. As, it, as that striker starts coming up, the bin then shoves that one down, and then it knows the bin's on, and throws it straight into the back. So, here we go. Right, so that was on single shake then. So we'll take it off shake. And try it out to shake. Theory, we twist that one that way now. 
twist that one that way we should be on double shake in theory Yep. So we'll now try it on this one. Double shake. There we go. That's for two. So now we've established everything's working. What we'll do now is start checking all the safety features on it, make sure it knocks out of auto, works in manual, all the rest of it. The only I think I'm going to struggle with here, looking round, I can't see any trade bins, so I can't try an 1100 on it. But it's for a council, they don't tend to do many 1100s anyway, so we might get away with that one. So yeah, so what we'll do now, we'll start trying out safety features on it. Right, so established, everything's working fine. What we'll do now, we'll try and get it to kick out the bottom.
Ja. Zo pas dirt aan het pakken. and it's not just on a full cycle so what we'll do is we'll come back to this bit here after check the cab box should be alarming that now it's like is it telling me ah there we go the inspection door is open so that's time the door's open on the side Everything stopped, so we'll shut to the back and make sure nothing will work at that. There we go, nothing's working, so we'll shut that door now. Good minute, we'll come back to that. now is uh, I have put it in constant cycle and then I can watch everything that's happening on the bearings, the pack of bearing there in the middle and everything else, um, the slide blocks make sure they're all good. Side cover so now we can see this is a ram that powers the packer up and down so the pack is down now now it's meant to wear back up and then that ram to the left like you see there that's the one that opens the back door on the truck. So 
are, and I'll come around to this side on my rear, just check that. When the tailgate's open, you put that in if you're working anywhere near the tailgate. And this side, the pack is just going back to its top position, now it's on its way back down again. If you look here, this is on auto loop, you can see there's plenty of grease around everything there, so it's obviously getting grease into it. Auto loop pipes here, another one further up. And the one on top that's greasing it. Check that stair. Yep, that's a good one. Auto loop pipe here into the ram at the bottom. You can see it's getting grease. So that's good. So everything's looking quite good there, really. Right, so my next job now is going to be gritting the back of the body and uh, check the ram and everything in there for the ejector and all the slide rudders. So, the first thing you always do, if you're in the back of a wagon, put them in your pocket. Do not, under any circumstances, leave them in the ignition. You certainly don't leave it running. Not unless you don't like living. Get those side doors open. Never risk it. Never ever risk it. Right, it's nice and neat. Uh, yep. See it back of there then. Come on. carry many of these about here so as it's packing obviously the ejector comes to the front and once it gets to the front and it's full and uh, they want to unload it they open the back door press button in the cab back round shoves that back shoves off rubbish out dead simple dead simple dead simple so what we do we uh the fire these Set some friction up a little bit for the uh, ejector. Now that we know we've set it, what's pointed in that's when it comes to the no grease goes on, it's going to take that oil back off. Probably. So we're going to use our gold and it's going to be special. I need to check it out again. I'm sure we're missing in it, but I'll put it back there and it's going to be that shower. Clean it up. I know the body dents it, but it's just in the inside of the upper. We'll go from that door next. And then uh, just check the door for you. Just like that. Uh, the upper arm's not stuck in it. I'll look at it and check the door for you in that way. Grease the lifter, torque tag for the cab, get some paperwork done. I can about it, I that. To be fair, it's not about your boss's shit. There you go, it's rich, won't be, should it? So, is it seven? I don't know, seven, 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 two. I don't know, I'll carry it around. But we'll do it straight, it's going to be something about the ages. One of them days, get to that age in life. Oh, and then also, what we need to do is pull this ejector all the way to the front. Put the packer in the right position and check the oil level in the oil tank. Make sure she's got enough oil there. Now this is one that I did three weeks ago. Two, three weeks ago, I went up to Whitehaven for a new PTO open pan. So yeah, right, come on, let's be done. Oh, and I forgot to say, when that bit comes to the front, it flags, flags that sensor there. And that tells, uh, the cab box is full. Okay. 
Yeah, sort it out. Take the cab box on. Then press that button there. And then we've got the sub menu down the side. That's reject. Uh, sorry, no. That's open the back door. That's rejected. That's pull ejects forward. That's shut the back door. Obviously, that's greyed out because the back door's closed. So what you do, you press this button here. Right door opens like so. Very noisy, aren't they? Then, so yeah, there you go. You see, that's tailgate seal, so good. Off the bike, so good. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, 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 all good. So we're still at the same screen, that's the button there for dragging the ejects to the front, so you can either press it on the screen there and do it, or there's a little button on the side you can press and do it at the bottom. Dead simple in it, yeah? That percentage thing there is for how open, how much the back door's open, and it shows you a lock there to show that the back door's locked shut. Just drag that up to the front now. Now check the air level on it. Because what you do with these, you make sure the eject is at the front and not the back when you want to uh, check the oil level. Because when the eject comes to the front, we've already filled up the oil. It'll throw it all out at the tank. And I have done that a few times. Fetch the truck in for inspection. Pull the jets at the front, somebody's put too much oil in it and it's fired it right out at the top of the tank. That's a right mess if works like that. Use the filter to pit the oil. It's rather annoying. So, yeah, we will get this up to the front and have another look. You can see on the screen now, container is full, ejection barrier is fully retracted. Yeah? So, that's that sensor I just showed you in the front. Obviously the ejector, uh, the ejector blades come up to it, flagged it, and it gives that. So with these, what you need to do, you've got to come back out of that menu, to the main menu, to make the packer work. So what I did before, create the continuous cycle. If you press that button, press number two, it's now gone back to two cycles. Eject. Come out of that, you can see that it's showing two cycles. So you press the start button, It'll cycle twice, so now I need to drop the ejector blade to the, not the ejector blade, drop the packet to the bottom, open, fully open the sweep blade, and we can check the oil level then. Right, so that panel's open at the bottom, that sweep blade's fully open, so every ram is now retracted in, the tailgate ram's retracted, the packer ram's retracted, 
that I'm contracted, yeah? So what that should give me then is a level on my oil tank. So if you look up there, zoom in a bit. That's the level we're running at half full, thereabouts. Uh, so then you've got to allow for expansion of the heat of the oil and what have you. So, right, what we'll do now grab a grease gun, get this lifter greased, then sweep blade greased, and then. Uh, so she's good at that. That's right. Just come down to Rochdale Council. Suspected head gasket. Um, just spoke to a lot workshop there then, and uh, sounds like it is to me. So, what we'll do, we'll uh, have a look at it and see. But uh, that's the case. I won't be doing anything with it. So, that again in English, I won't be doing anything with it. If we'll uh, <coughs> be going back to the workshop, we'll have a look anyway, see, so can't we? So, um, 65 plate, mechanic. Let's have a look and see, yeah. Let's have a look and see. Right, guys, so what I've done, I've disconnected the compressor pipe. So, I just spoke to one of the lads here, and I'm forgetting to mention that, there, that he said he thought it was the egg gasket that's gone. So, it's disconnected compressor pipe. Um, Tops of the water and started it up. So it's currently sat at 56 degrees. He seems to think it's firm, so that's done it. So, what we'll do, we'll let it get up to temp, see how much water it throws out, and all the rest of it, and take it from there, I think. So, hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, it's not the egg gasket that's gone. So, if it has, that's a nightmare. But these things are said to try us, aren't they? So, tell you something, right? I was um, coming back down M6 before. So, just gets to Sharp, coming over Sharp, just starts dropping down towards T Bay services. And uh, in distance in front of me, there's a car and caravan. I'm seeing you're probably doing about 50, 55 mile an hour, you know what I mean? So, looks in the mirror to pull out, and there's a wagon coming down second lane, all right? And I was doing like 65, 70 mile an hour, and this man, he's going for it, yeah? He is literally flat to my, he's away, he's on overrun, yeah? We're now sharp. He come past me, and he must be doing 70 mile an hour when he come past me, right? And he was loaded with um, scrap cars and stuff, bailed. His back tyre blew out. <whistles> Boof! Just got past me when it happened. I'll tell you something. 
the noise it made unbelievable the amount of rubber plastic everything that shot all over the motor all like you can understand why people get killed when them tires go off on the other side of the noise was unbelievable and the amount of debris it caused phenomenal so anyway yeah it's an excitement for the day weren't it so right we'll uh see what this does it behaves itself it don't behave itself see if we get up to temp and see what's happening let's crack on Right guys, what we did, disconnect that compressor part and then that eliminates the compressor from pressurising the cylinder head and then, oh, oh that's annoying Flashy beeper, flashy beeper, flashy beeper Not flashy beeper, oh We must look at this at some point Yeah, so basically that sorted that out Now then, come around to the other side So I think the issue is going to be what this lad here said. Thermostat switch behind this housing here, yeah? So that thermostat housing there is warmish. The gearbox pipes are hot. That's the coolant pipes going to the gearbox, yeah? And uh, they feed in and go into the thermostats. That pipe's mm, not even warm. That pipe's freezing cold. That pipe's cold. That pipe's cold. So I think that's the issue there. The firm starts in there. But what it's also doing is pressing the header tank. So because it's pressurising the header tank, I'm pretty convinced the egg gasket's gone on it. So the firm starts have caused the egg gasket to go, which is kind of done coming here at uh, Rochdale Council that already diagnosed from it. And he was 100% right, I think, with his diagnosis on that. If you think we're wrong, drop it in comments, let us know, and tell us what you think it might be. I don't want to comment saying broken bin truck. If we get one of them, I might send you some merch. Right. What I'll do, put this cab down. Uh, get myself home. It's nearly half four now. Be an hour back from here. That's half five. Started at half four this morning. That's 13 hours. That'll ding down do for me. Right, guys. So, just gone uh, six o'clock. Just got home. So, that's not bad, is it, for a, uh, a Wednesday? What's that? Oh, uh, 13 and a half hours. I'll do on it. And then tomorrow we go again at half four. Um, we're off to a customer at Colwyn Bay. Uh, to be there for 6.30. So, might be four actually. Four or five, so. No, half four over. Half four for that one. So we're going to have a look at that. Uh, fault on a bin lift and another bit of a job. So we'll go and do that tomorrow. And then after that, I've got a job at Liverpool. Bin lift fault again. So be a bad day really so yeah uh if you haven't already done hit the like button click that subscribe button don't cost you out it's free subscribe it's free it's not like subscribe to a magazine it's free and uh that share button that'd be amazing and uh catch you on the next one look after yourselves and take care